they have got before the State Board of Education now approval that second graders will require in Menninger, Cockrell, and Tita to enter the sixth grade for the first time. This upcoming school year? This upcoming school year. So if that is approved by the State Board of Education, uh, there will be an increased volume everywhere. That's sort of uh, just telling you how to lie. But if approved, they want to put it into place for this coming Just your information. This vaccine the administration paper program in front of you. Uh, the vaccine for children is a federal program that gives us vaccine uh, to give the kids that, that meet a certain income criteria. Uh, our county nurse manager, we have 10, uh, have an administration fee that we can charge for doing this. The current vaccine administration fee is $10, the lowest in the state, and has been at the same rate for 10 years. And the county nurse manager. Ten of them met, and we said you were there. And they, they told us at the state we could charge up to $21.93 that would be reimbursed for administration by Medicaid, basically, for administering the flu vaccine, which is free. So, this administration, but, uh, we, the county nurse managers felt that going to the $21.93 would be too large of an increase at one time. We do not refuse services if an individual is unable to pay, but I want you to understand that a very small percentage that have to pay. Very small percentage. The vast majority of these kids are covered by Medicaid. The, they recommended, therefore, that we raise the fee to $15 that has to be approved by you, of course. it for 30 days to help the department, and then we'll need you to update our fee manual. Uh, if you look at the bottom, the district's uh, Right to the state, what they have already decided to do, uh, most of them have. Uh, you see, uh, the Dalton went up to $21.93, $20. Atlanta, $21.93, Washington, $21. Look at our sister districts, uh, Wake Cross and Albany, that's 8 2 and 9 2. Albany increased the fee to $21.93, uh, and Albany and, and Wake Cross district are in the process of evaluating theirs. Currently, they're already charging. Five dollars more than we charge. Uh, the, of course, a recommendation to you, Mr. Chairman, the board, is, uh, based on the county nurse managers in our district, is that we, as you approve, uh, fifteen dollars for the administration fee, and we will probably be coming back to you incrementally on that, depending on experiences, uh, and that is submitted to you for your consideration. that we see, I mean, is that 
In other words, is it going to prohibit, are people going to not have access to the vaccine if we increase it to 21 days? No. And the other point is, and I will tell you this, and the irony here is the flu vaccine that we get, uh, we've ordered already back in February, you have to estimate what we're going to need.
the Doc 2193. I just think that's the prudent thing to do. Um, if we're not going to deny someone uh, the vaccine, if this is not going to impact access to the vaccine, I just don't see any downside. I just don't see any downside. I guess my statement is I understand how, why they use the perception, and I understand what they're saying. However, this is Obamacare, and Medicaid's going to pay anyway. It right. sounds like to me you might as well go all the way because that's what's going to happen. Right. Medicaid, oh, Obamacare is going to be there. Medicaid's going to pay for it. But I understand what they're saying, and, and I respect yeah, I don't that. that at all. I, know, I respect what they're saying. But if the end result so, is yeah, that it's going to yeah, be, then, it's gonna be there anyway. then we can deal with the perception. Do you think this is going to adversely affect your ability to, to administer the vaccine if it goes above 15? I mean, I, that's my biggest concern is whether or not it's going to okay. I, I, I of the 3,500 vaccines we gave, the vast majority of those were through the school system, not not uh -huh. very many yeah. coming, not coming right. here to get over the lab. So did they even, when they walk in to get their vaccine, they don't pay a dime. But does a, does a parent even know what Medicaid would be charging? argue the fact that since we're supposed to be in a conservative uh, area of the state, we shouldn't be taking Medicaid money when we don't need to. Everybody but, else is. Well, that's true. <laughs> I, I don't you know, Medi Medicaid is a legitimate, I mean, we are, we are compassionate. I mean, we offer, we offer health care coverage for people who can't afford it because we're compassionate. That's why we do it. It's not because we're liberal or Democrat or conservative Republican, because we are a compassionate nation and even the most conservative person opposed to you know, fund Medicaid. I don't think it's a that issue you know, necessarily, but I don't want you to think and the, the nurse managers think that we are just in one fell swoop discounting your opinion, because um, that's not, I don't think, our intention. But um, you prepared for a motion? Yes, sir. Chair, I move that we increase the uh, allowable vaccine administration fee to 2193. us for those kids at school that are no pay type things and you know, they only pay us fifteen dollars but I'm hoping they'll increase what they give us also. And I don't know if what I don't think this decision is gonna affect what they're gonna pay us but we would yeah. ask Lisa that if you feel any way that it impacts any of the care that we're delivering or, or even or not through the numbers do you let come back to us and let us know we'll readdress that. Yeah we're a vote away from changing that number. 